Hey folks, Ray from DCRamerica.com here. Today I'm at with these folks from Swiss side uh, looking at their AeroPod Aero Sensor, as well as what they're doing more in general beyond just their Aero Sensor. Um, now I've been talking with a lot of the aerodynamic companies here at Eurobike, uh, and there are a lot of companies focusing on it. As of this morning, I counted eight different companies that are in this aerodynamic space doing stuff, and they're all rushing towards roughly the same goal, which is to have aerodynamic sensors that you can put on your bike to get real-time CDA information. CDA is essentially the aerodynamic information about how aero you are um, from a cycling standpoint. So this is again primarily focused on the triathlete market, time trialist market, uh, folks like that as opposed to the road bike market and I think eventually we'll see aero in the road bike realm a bit more prevalent but for now this is kind of the focus here. Uh, so first to understand a little bit about Swiss side it's probably worthwhile noting. Uh, they're primarily focused on wheels um, which you see down there and from an aero standpoint and then working with brands, bike manufacturers and things like that uh, to make their products more aero. So they work behind the scenes with companies uh, more from an aerodynamic standpoint than consumers. Uh, but that's starting to change a bit and, and we're seeing that through the pro athletes for example where they're obviously riding with Swiss side equipment, but coming into wind tunnels like this one here, and Swiss side is working with those athletes from a testing standpoint. But that gets to the next sort of problem, which is how do you take what you learn in this wind tunnel? So we were watching for a little while here as an athlete was on this, uh, going through iteration after iteration of tiny changes in position, little things like, you know, just from here to moving your hands back to here or like this. And that's stuff that you've got to remember two months, three months, six down, months down the road when you're at a race. And that's really hard to know, like down to the millimeter, have you got it right? And so that's where aero sensors on the bike itself are super valuable because they allow you to go ahead and look at a head unit, um, whether it be a Garmin or something else to get that aerodynamic information back in real time and say, nope, you've now shifted position three or four hours into this race. You need to correct that again. Um, so that's what Swiss uh, side has done here with their AeroPod. Um, and you'll notice it's actually a two pedo tube design. So they've got two different, uh, uh, tubes right here. Uh, the top one up here is for the yaw angle. So to go ahead and determine basically what crosswind angle is the wind's coming on. And the bottom one down here is for the wind speed itself. And they're really the only company we've seen in this consumer market that's got this dual pitot tube design. Uh, we'll see how that plays out into the real world, but it's definitely worthwhile noting. They've also got a really slick uh, custom mount there they've made uh, to put it down kind of below the arrow bars a bit further out. Part of the challenge with um, these pedo tube designs that are designed for the consumer market versus testing is the fact that it's a little bit shorter. So you get kind of wind off the front that can interfere with this. So the most, as much as you can do to push this out further is really, really important because as much as these companies may want to have a one meter long pedo tube off the front, that's not practical and certainly won't be allowed in races. Um, so this is actually a really cool design here. It's integrated with a, a Garmin mount just slapped on top and in the bars, uh, kind of neat stuff. So from there, that number will be displayed up on your Garmin and you get that real time information there. And then afterwards, you can go ahead and synchronize that data onto uh, their platform that's done via Bluetooth Smart uh, from here to your phone, the phone to the platform, you merge all of it together and you get much more deep, much more rich information about what was going on from an aer uh, aerodynamic standpoint. So from a pricing perspective, they're looking at kind of the same ballpark as everyone else. They're looking at basically sub 1,000. They're talking, they're really hoping to get down close to that 800 or so dollar uh, level. They really want to be mass market and they don't want to be just, you know, purely coaching and kind of research only. They want to be mass market. They're also talking a time frame of next spring, which is again in the same sort of time frame as uh, a lot of other companies like AeroPod or uh, AeroLab and whatnot. So looking forward to testing all these things out. Uh, there's plenty of them on the market. If you want to stay tuned for all that stuff, whack that subscribe button at the bottom there, as well as a like button down there too and don't forget to check out the rest of the Eurobike goodness up there in the corner with that have a good one